Let's consider the goals of embedding ClickSense in a multi-tenant SaaS environment. Ultimately, you want to provide a unique dashboard to each of your end customers. You might also want to enable your customers to extend their own dashboards with their own sheets and charts, but you don't want to maintain these separate dashboards. In the next few slides, we will explain how you can use our APIs to make a copy of the template app for each of your customers and load it with customer-specific data. In this animation, we've made a few assumptions. We've assumed you already have a multi-tenant SaaS platform and thus assume you have a piece of software which acts as a broker, a software capability that you already use today to maintain your SaaS applications for all your customers. The principle of SaaS automation is quite simple. You first create a template app, also called a dashboard, and you make a copy for each of the customer instances on your SaaS platform. The template app already contains a template with 80% of the functionality, and we provide some predefined sheets, charts, dimensions, and measures to get you started. Let's do a deeper dive and understand each step. In the upcoming video, you will see the broker in action. But what are the activities that the SaaS broker automates in the demo? What are the steps or stages? First, it will create a stream for each customer. Secondly, it will copy the template app. Next, it replaces the script with a customer-specific one, or in most cases, you just have to replace the database connection. Using the new script, the app is reloaded. This is where we basically make a compressed copy of the data and create the associative model. In the final stage, we publish the app in the stream with the name of the customer. Here we see a visualization of a complete integration in a multi-tenant environment in action. On the left side, you will see the current SaaS platform, which needs its analytics update. We have implemented and integrated ClickSense, which you will see on the lower right. In the middle, you find the broker, a piece of software you already have to which we add some API calls so that ClickSense will also be controlled by your software. We've assumed you have a database per customer instance, and you also have a master database in the left corner, which contains the customers, the database connections, user rights, and possibly relevant tables and fields if you have free fields and tables. Your software is now in control. Your software selects the template apps that need to be created by each customer. In the demo platform, we simulate this by pressing the Generate button. This button will execute the activities by making use of the REST and WebSocket-based APIs, as explained in a previous slide. It then creates a stream, copies, reloads, and publishes the app in a stream with the name of the customer. Now our end customer users, John and Peter, will get a personalized dashboard which shows only the data they are authorized or allowed to see. If you want, you can also allow users to create their own apps or sheets. In the demo, you can try this by giving the users the contributor or developer roles.